Hey guys, thanks for joining in with me for a brand new set of acrylic pouring experiments. Today I'm working with two different viscosities of silicone oil. I have 150 CST and 300 CST oils. CST, or centistokes, is the universal standard of measuring the viscosity of oil. As the CST increases, so does the viscosity. So, in today's case, the 300 is thicker than the 100. Silicone oil viscosities can vary greatly. I personally have seen CSTs ranging from 100 to 200,000. The silicone oils that I'm using today are typically used as lubricants for RC cars, so I was able to get these at my local hobby store. Today I'm testing out each oil in a swipe. For this, I have a set of colors mixed with just Floetrol. I'm going to leave that list in the description because I mixed quite a few colors together. I then mixed up a couple of batches of Mars Black with Floetrol and added in two drops of each silicone oil to them. After those two, I had a bit of paint left over, so I went ahead and mixed in a couple of drops of 300 to each of the remaining colors and did a small flip cup to finish them off. The flip cup came out pretty funky and I'm kind of obsessed with it for some reason. To do each swipe, I line the colors up across the canvas. The black cell activator is then added above those colors. I'm using a slightly damp shop towel to swipe the cell activator across the other colors. You can use practically anything to swipe the paints across each other. All you need is something that will keep a steady pressure across the canvas. Paper towel, palette knife, your finger, seriously, anything. The goal is to bring the cell activator down over the entire set of colors, giving it a chance to react with each. For the flip cup, I simply stirred the silicone into each color, then layered them in a separate cup. That cup is then flipped over onto the canvas, and eventually the paint is released from the bottom by lifting up. I'm still in the process of trying to fully understand the differences in the ranges of CST and silicone oil. It's a measure of how much shear resistance the oil has. Lower CST oils have less resistance and will break apart easier to form smaller droplets when stirred. Silicone oil is thixotropic. This means that it becomes less viscous when stirred or otherwise agitated. So, the more you stir, the more it breaks apart. Given enough time, the oil will begin to come back together and start forming into larger drops again. The more dispersed the oil is in the paint, the smaller the cells tend to be when formed. When you lightly stir the oil in, you're more likely to get bigger cells since there wasn't enough force applied to break the silicone apart as much. I've gone out and bought several different CST weights of silicone oil to experiment with. As of this video, we will be testing out 100, 150, 300, 500, 725, and 80,000 CST oils. I've also discovered that silicone oils can be dissolved in mineral spirits, and I know I'm going to want to run some tests there too. I'm pretty excited to move on to this next set of experiments. I love cells and acrylic pores, so I'm always on the hunt for new ways to create them. Okay guys, that's all I have to add on today. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next silicone oil test. Let me know if you preferred the 150 or the 300 CST in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. See you next time! Bye!